สวัสดีครับ Welcome to Phuket Extra, brought to you by PSD Windows and Doors. It's Monday, November 5, and I'm JP Mestanza with the news you need to know. Limitations only exist in the mind. There's no better example of this than Hannah Gavios, the American woman who two years ago fell 45 meters off a cliff in Krabi and fractured her spine. Well, just earlier today, she crossed the finish line at the New York City Marathon. After 11 hours, 20 minutes, and 32 seconds, Gavios crossed the finish line at the New York City Marathon on crutches with sports broadcaster ESPN filming the celebratory scenes as hundreds cheered her on and she did it all to raise money for spinal cord research through the Christopher and Dana Reeve Foundation, having raised about $19,500 US dollars so far. Back in 2016, Gavios was backpacking through Thailand when she got lost in Ao Nang in Krabi and asked a local for help. But the man ended up trying to sexually assault her and while she was running away from him, she fell 45 meters down a cliff and became partially paralyzed from the waist down. The suspect, 28-year-old Apai Rong Wong, he found her again and sexually assaulted her for 10 hours. He was later sentenced to five years in jail. Doctors doubted Gavios could ever walk again, and although she still can't feel her feet and ankles, Gavios learned how to walk with her crutches and was later able to train for up to 16 miles a day to prepare for her first marathon. Congratulations to her. Nine British nationals are now safe and sound after the yacht they were on caught fire when it was reportedly struck by lightning late Saturday afternoon. The 50-foot sloop called MJ, it caught fire at about 5 p.m. on Saturday and the blaze completely burned the boat to the waterline and it sank in Alcung off Phuket's northeast coast, although all nine on board were safely recovered by a passing fishing boat. Phuket Marine Chief Wiwat Chichert Wong confirmed that an investigation is now being launched to determine the cause, although reports did indicate that the boat was struck by lightning. The incident comes as Phuket officials and their superiors in Bangkok continued their campaign to convince Chinese tourists that Phuket is a safe holiday destination after a huge plunge in bookings by Chinese tourists following the Phoenix tourboat disaster back on July 5 that killed 47 Chinese tourists. The British expat involved in the horrific accident in which a pedestrian's body was torn to pieces, he's being cleared of having been under the influence of alcohol or drugs at the time of the accident. Blood test results confirm at the time of the October 10th incident in which his black Mercedes-Benz CZ250 struck a Thai man known to locals for collecting recyclable litter at about 4.45 a.m. along Tekkasatri Road. Parts of the man's body were left strewn across the road, so disfigured that police have yet to identify against Mercer. Police declined to reveal any more information about the investigation, including whether police have any idea how fast the Mercedes was traveling at the time of the impact. For more on this story, visit thepuketnews.com. Sit tight, Phuket Extra will be right back after this. Welcome back to Phuket Extra. Police have a Thai man in custody after he chained himself to his female partner at a home in Sri Sutton on Friday and they later found a loaded gun on the property. When cops arrived at the home in Mu 5 of Sri Sutton, they found Montri Pamaisuri chained up with his female partner in the driveway of the house and they only learned about the incident at the woman's sister tipped them off at shortly after 1 p.m. on Friday. Police unchained the couple and a search of the house found a loaded handgun on the floor inside the property and police seized that as evidence, CCTV recordings as well, of the incident. Police say the man chained himself with the woman because he was jealous, suspecting she was having an affair, and although Montri will be charged with illegal possession of a handgun, potential kidnapping charges will only be pressed if the woman files a formal complaint. If, for more, visit thepuketnews.com. 
Phuket-based fighters were the stars of the cage at Full Metal Dojo 16 on Saturday, a homegrown mixed martial arts promotion in Bangkok as Glenn Sparv out of Tiger Muay Thai and Suwanan Bunson of Phuket top team walked away with titles. Glenn Sparv, a Finland native, he stopped Iran's Mehdi Bagheri in the second round at the Insanity nightclub on Saturday night in a tough battle that saw Sparv head kick Bagheri in spectacular fashion to claim the middleweight title earning the FMB Katana. Meanwhile, in the co-main event, the promotion's inaugural Adam Weight title was on the line as two Thai female fighters were pitted against each other and Suwanan Bunson finished Loma Lukbuni in just over two minutes of the opening round with a tight armbar submission. During the event, promoter John Nutt announced that the promotion, which began in Phuket's Seduction Nightclub back in 2014, it's evolving to be called Kumite 3000 with fighters from six Southeast Asian nations pitted against each other with events to take place in all six nations starting with Myanmar early in 2019 with support from Fox Network. If you're watching us on YouTube, go ahead and click that subscribe button to catch all of our future videos. And if you're watching us on Facebook, give us a like on the Phuket News page. From all of us at the Phuket News Center, thank you for watching. And until tomorrow, stay classy Phuket.